Hello, I'm a very interesting and intelligent man. And this <laughs> is Fred, who, as you may have noticed, is a horse. Today, Fred and I are going to be helping you to improve your English. I bet you've never been taught by a horse before. Hungry, isn't he? In fact, he eats all the time. He eats like a horse. Of course he does. He is a horse. In English, if someone eats a lot, we can say that he eats like a horse. <coughs> to eat like a horse. To eat a lot. <laughs> What's that you say, Fred? <laughs> ah, just that silly noise horses make. Anyway, I heard it straight from the horse's mouth. We use this idiom when we've got some information directly from the person responsible for it. For example, my boss is going to fire me. Yes, it's true. I heard it straight from the horse's mouth. It means my boss told me directly. I didn't hear it from anyone else. <sighs> Sad news, I'm afraid. Fred's died. Which means there's no point in trying to get him to work anymore. And how do we get a horse to work? That's right by hitting it, or as we say, flogging it. Our next horse idiom, to flog a dead horse, which, as you can see, is completely pointless. To flog a dead horse. This means to waste effort at something that we have no chance of succeeding at. I sometimes feel like I'm flogging a dead horse when I'm teaching. My students, they never seem to learn. I don't quite understand what the problem is. Very frustrating. 